Welcome to another video. This one's pretty random and it's about a bike I've just bought. Well, I bought it three months ago. I'm um, currently in Sydney and we're in lockdown. It's been nearly three months now. I've been playing with this bike for the best part of lockdown and filming random bits and pieces over the last two months. So yeah, pretty odd video, but um, let's go back to two months ago and have a look at this bike. See ya. Have thought these cantilever brakes actually work all right. Growing up, I had a mongoose BMX, and it honestly was the best thing ever. Uh -oh. As soon as I saw this bike for $25, he's actually <coughs> oh, <shit. laughs> far out. Those dogs scared the shit out of me. Far out. Anyway, let's start again. As soon as I saw this bike for $25, I saw it was a small and I instantly thought of my nephew. He's been keen to come on a bike packing trip for a while now and I thought this could be a great little bike to convert into a bike packing bike for him. I thought it'd be a great little project for us both to work on together. You never know, I might be able to teach him a few things about bikes. I've come into a bit of a problem though. I always visualize my nephew as being really grown up, which he is, but He's actually quite young still, and he's way too small for this bike. Now, it's not such a bad thing that this bike's too big for my nephew, because after riding it for a while, it turns out it's the perfect size for me. I'm really not sure what to do with it, but I've been watching a few YouTube videos of guys converting him to like a drop bar gravel bike, or even just like fixing him up with more modern components. And I think I'm just gonna keep it for myself. What do you think? <sighs> This morning I thought I'd come down to the river and talk about this old mongoose. And look how foggy it is, how nice is this? I love getting up early. Now I've been thinking about this bike a lot lately and I really don't need another bike but that mongoose symbol, I've gotten so attached to it just from my old bike and you know what? You can never have too many bikes, so bugger it. So if I'm gonna keep another bike, I thought I'm gonna fix this up a little bit. So I've been online browsing for parts and I may have actually bought a brand new group set for it. Now, I've got a problem though. I've started riding this bike to work and it's really been wearing me out. The bike just feels super slow. And I'm starting to think, I don't think it's such a good idea wasting money on a $25 bike. So instead, I've put the new group set on my other 90s bike. The Rally now officially has a brand new 1x9 speed drivetrain and it's sitting at home ready for another trip. F***ing lockdown. Now this video is not about the Rally. It's about this mongoose and the fact that I'm back to square one with it 
I think I'm just gonna have to ride it as is. And maybe try and learn how to do wheelies on it. Before I wrap this video up, I thought I'd share something that happened to me in between filming this video. I was putting some extra air in the tyres to try and combat that slow feel and I had one of the valve stems blow out. I've replaced both the tubes and it turns out this bike had the thickest and heaviest tubes I've ever seen in my life. They even had a bit of water in them. Check out how thick they are. On the label it says they have a 6mm thick wall. After fixing that, I've also changed the handlebars and stem. I've gone for a longer reach to try and mimic a road bike riding position and it's actually helped a lot. I've ridden this bike a fair bit now on the pavement and it could be just in my head but the bike's feeling a lot more efficient. It might actually end up being a pretty good commuter. I kind of like it now. Now I've never owned a drop bar bike before and I've really enjoyed riding in my, my mimic hoods and I think I want to turn it into a drop bar gravel bike because That'll be super fun. Now the thing I've liked best about this bike is it's got me riding again. I really want to ride to work more often just to improve my fitness for these bike packing trips. And tinkering with this old thing, it gets me out riding. I don't know what it is, but I feel like if I play and change something, I've got to go and test it, so I'll go and ride it. What I think I might do is just search for some parts and see what I can come up with. And uh, it's gonna get me riding more and I don't know. Could be fun, see what we come up with. As I'm sitting here filming and talking about putting drop bars on, I've just had a thought. Realistically, I'm never gonna use the, like the, the drop hoops of drop bars. So maybe I just, I don't know, paint this stem black and keep these bars. I don't know, see what I can come up with. I don't think I'll actually use drop bars like I don't care about the aerodynamics, I just like the, the, I don't know, I don't know. Let me know what you think. I've got no idea. <laughs> this video is about nothing. I really don't know. Well, on that note of complete confusion, I think it's time I end this video. I'm pretty confident lockdown's gonna be ending real soon, so uh, I think it's time to start planning a new trip. I did end up painting the stem and the horns black, plus I also stole the tyres off the rally just to see if they fit in this frame. And I think the bike's looking a lot better, so I'm actually getting pretty keen to take it on a bike packing trip. I did try my front roll on the handlebars, but um, I don't know, not a lot of clearance between the front tyre, so I don't know, we'll see what happens there. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this video. It's been a bit of a random one, and if you are still in lockdown, hopefully it entertains you for five seconds, but um, Hopefully we all get out on the trail soon and uh, yeah, see you on the next one. Bye.